Tech Homestead here. I want to share with you a new project I'm working on. I need some heavy duty ramps to load equipment on and off my 14 foot 7 ton flatbed trailer. I had some pretty heavy duty aluminum ramps, but I'll tell you what, that did not end well when I was loading the little Iseki tractor on. The ramps started coming off the back end of the tractor and they collapsed and the tractor literally fell off. Thankfully, it fell off on all fours. So that prompted the need for some heavy duty ramps. I'm going to take you through the process of building these ramps and uh, hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. I'm going to build these ramps out of two different sized angle iron. For the side tracks I'm going to use 2 inch by 2 inch by 3 16 and for the cross members I'm going to use inch and a half by inch and a half by 3 16. Right now we're going to cut these cross members up. We're going to cut them off at 9 inches. That's how wide our ramps are going to be. Now that we got all the cross members cut up, and we've got the side pieces all laid out, it's time to just tack this whole thing in place. Looks like I just ran out of wire.
got to make sure you hold the spool, otherwise it'll go crazy and come unraveled. And your expensive welding wire will suddenly look like tinsel from a Christmas tree. All right, we're back in business. Let's get back to the welding. Well, I've got the first ramp all welded up. There's a total of 80 welds, four on each side per cross member. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's 10 cross members. Now, as I always say, this is not my best welding and I'm certainly not trying to win any prizes here but they're all really deeply penetrating and uh, they're very strong I have no doubt that these welds are going to hold up under tremendous load so the ramp flipped over and this is how it's going to be installed on the trailer I always always overbuild everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run little spot welds in these corners here and I'm just going to make sure that any weak spots are reinforced. That should take just a few minutes and then we'll put some finishing touches on we'll call this this ramp finished. Finishing touch I'm putting on these ramps is to angle the bottom ends so that they follow the contour of the 45 created by the first cross member. Halfway through the second cut here just about done. And There you have it the first of two ramps is done. Simply do everything you just did this time one more time and you got yourself a nice set of ramps. Well there you have it, you got yourself a nice set of steel ramps to load your equipment up onto your trailer and it probably only costs you about a hundred bucks. I think for both ramps I have ninety seven dollars into this plus a couple hours of my time and now I have ramps that are ten times as strong as anything that I'm gonna get in the store at a fraction of the money. Hope you found this video useful if you did appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and Give me some comments, I'd like to hear your feedback. Thanks a lot.